Hey there guys, DMO73 here. Sorry this is so late. I've actually been at a conference for work, uh, but I wanted to go ahead and jump in, uh, even though it's pretty late, to get you guys some coverage of the new spoilers for Vingolf 2. Uh, so, new Valkyria Chronicles, new light cards uh, to support the stuff that we've already seen. So let's just dig right in. So first off, we have Clementia Foster, or Forster. Um, However you pronounce it, I'm bad at pronunciation. It's 3-drop, 4-4. Four, four. When this card enters your field, search your main deck for an addition, reveal it, and put it into your hand, then shuffle your main deck. So this is essentially kind of a replacement for... Um, for we had a Speaker of Creation, uh, which, unfortunately, this card is... Because of the stats uh, and the cost of it, it's a little bit outside of range of what I would think would be good. Um, if it was a 2-drop for 4-4, four, four, that would get you a search. Like, I would be okay with that, but a 3-drop with 4-4 four, four just... Uh, yeah, it's cool because you can search for any edition, not just that edition field, but, like, I still wish it had maybe a little bit more defense to make it a really, like, playable card. Uh, next up, we have uh, Eddie Nielsen, Nelson, Edie Nelson, however you want to pronounce it. 2-drop, uh, 5-5, five, five, usual 2-drop stats. Uh, but as long as you control another squad 7 card, this card gains a 500 defense. But when a car squad 7 you control is destroyed, rest this card. Um, essentially, this means that you just kind of have to block with her first. Uh, which, But unfortunately, it opens it up to if there's any kind of spot removal. She doesn't really work as a blocker uh, the first time if someone has spot removal anyway. Uh, so again, it's pretty kind of lackluster. Next up we have Irene Ellett. Uh, when this card enters your field, reveal the top card of your main deck. If it's a squad 7, you can put it into your hand. So for a 1-drop 2-2 two, two for light, uh, that's actually not bad in terms of like playing sealed Vingolf games. Um, and it's kind of cool that like even in the games, Irene uh, is like kind of follows squad 7 exclusively. So that's kind of cool that she's kind of linked to those people. Um, but it's, you know, it, it's a reveal. Um, so it's not that great, and it's also, like, she doesn't really do much beyond that. She's just kind of a blocker, but she doesn't have any kind of protection or anything else. And uh, if it's not a squad 7, you just gave your opponent free info. Um, so there's a little bit of risk to play out with that. Then we have Jan Walker, 2-drop, uh, 5-5. Five, five. When this card enters your field, destroy target tank. So this is essentially uh, Regalia Hate. Uh, which is not bad um, in uh, Vingolf kind of sealed games. Everyone's going to be kind of bringing tanks to the party. Uh, so that's not bad to be able to have kind of like the Vingolf version of Hera. Uh, I think that's pretty interesting. Outside of Vingolf, though, he's not so great. Now we have Lin. 4-drop, 9-9, nine, nine, squad 7, just a generic 4-drop. Uh, she is... Uh, Nothing really to shake a stick at, but at the same time, she's not necessarily bad. She's, again, more of just a Vin Golf card. Then we have Welver Glenn, who is a 2-drop 4-4, four, four, uh, but 2 light. And then for 2 light and tap, you can recover target resonator. Uh, that's not awful. Again, this is definitely more geared towards playing Vingolf, like Valkyria Chronicles-style games, um, in terms of just using Valkyria Chronicles things. Uh, and being able to recover target resonator is pretty good, especially when you combine it with the resonator that lets you tap to recover regalia, so you can kind of like do some shenanigans with tank combos if you have the will to be able to. So that's pretty interesting, um, but nothing you know groundbreaking that really catches my attention. Then we have First Aid, uh, plus four drop spell chant instant that you gain 200 life for each magic stone you control. Uh, I would like this card better if it was 300 life for each magic stone you control. Uh, four cost means that at minimum you're paying four to gain 800, but like we have a one drop that gains you a thousand. Uh, we have a two drop that gains you a thousand at instant speed, um, so this is not this is not great. If it was three hundred, I'd be okay with it, but just being two hundred, I'm a little bit disappointed. And then we have the flak jacket, three cost addition, uh, J resonator, prevent all damage that would be dealt to added J slash resonator. That's actually pretty valid, especially if your opponent's not running any addition heat, and you stick it on your J ruler and you just go to town. Um, being able to prevent all damage to it can essentially just say, like, hey, you're never going to get this off the board, uh, and you're going to have to deal with it from now until the end of the game. Unless they have Black Moonbeam, but hopefully you have something to manage that or you're paying attention and you don't get caught by it. So other, all in all, because some kind of pretty mediocre cards, but I mean, hey, it's Vingolf. We knew that eventually we were going to start seeing the stuff that was a little bit less um, 
wowing and more specifically for playing sealed bin golf kind of stuff. But let me know what you guys think in the comment sections down below. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, this is DM073 signing off.